smooth conversation with the elderly, to learn more about their medication and the elderly taking, to learn more about the gerontology community, as well as to learn about their lifestyles. Let's move on. Okay, so me and my group think that uh, elderly people just want attention, but actually they want to interact with us. And, but at the end of the day, also we need them, like our grandparents, for example. And then the two of me that we identify will be uh, elderly people are less adventurous. But actually, some elderly people are taking their retirement as their opportunity to travel around the world. And the second one will be, will be elderly people have the old ways of thinking, but actually everyone have their own unique ways due to good or bad experience. Okay, so two of our favourite pictures that we chose is one of them is the group photo because at the end of the whole activity, we were all smiling and we were so happy. And about the activities, we were all so excited to do because we were able to teach the grandma how to do a tea review. Okay, so for how the picture reflect of who we are, right? So basically, first of all, like all of us are from different races and different religion. So it shows like how... Um, group work and teamwork we put in to like for us to come together and work as one and also we find out that actually Salsa's grandparents actually like plants so terrarium is something that relates to plants and nature so all of us like like love nature and then all of us also like plants so why don't we like come together and then we also like work together with the elderly so for the reflection how does like reflect on who we are is actually during that time it shows that we also have some patience because with elderly, they tend to be like quite slow so when, when we teach, we also tend to teach quite fast so, but then for elderly, they have to like they need some patience to put the plants and then the seashells and everything inside so it, it taught us how to be patient towards the elderly at the same time so all together, we had so much fun Thanks We did this experience one of the weekends and then we did it in Salsa's grandparents' house what we did was we created this DIY terrarium for the both elderly. So in terms of communication, um, Salsa and Nakia were the translators while the rest were like videoing photographer like that. And we passed over these materials for the elderly to do the terrarium. So before the interview, we were told that Salsa's grandpa is diagnosed with COPD. So we kind of expected that he would be grumpy or bad tempered. But yeah, he was so calm and approachable, friendly even. We were uh, we felt very intrigued at his stories when he told us about his situations and his lifestyles and the outcomes that contributed to his present illnesses. Wow. Hi guys, so we have already interviewed Salsa's grandparents. Now we will talk about post reflections. Okay, so after this service with me, I have see I can see that my grandparents are very productive as I don't meet them quite often. And also uh, I feel that I can interact with them and be confident when interactive. Okay, so for what surprised me during this experience was actually the grandparents were very engaging with us, especially um Salsa's grandfather. He was very jovial and then he was like making jokes and then laughing with us and then also like apart from the interview questions he was also telling about uh, to us about his life experience. I think it was very nice of him so that surprised me the most. And then for what I um, learned about this service learning, so after participating in this service learning this year, I feel that um, apart from us, like only nursing students, I think um, secondary school students should also engage in such um, activities because like Nowadays, all of them are like into their phones and then social medias. They tend to not appreciate their grandparents or spend time with them. So I feel that if you're going to like give this kind of activities to them, they might interview the grandparents and then they'll get to spend more time with the grandparents. Okay, so as a result of this, com uh, this reflection, right? So our team feel that we can better evaluate ourselves. And also through this journey as a whole team, we are able to identify each other's flaws. And of course, together, we will work together and work towards our improvement. So we learned that we have a lot to learn from the elderly and the elderly have a lot to teach us in terms of like their skills, what their life experiences, what they have encountered. The learning matters because we have an aging population so we need to adjust to this especially as nurses. In the future, we will put these values learned such as respect and patience into our working field. Okay, so that's the end of the video reflection. Thank you guys! Selamat pop! Sisi! Terima kasih! Nandri! Adios, Amigo!